Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. I'm still losing my voice, so I apologize if it cuts in and out. I can't help it. But we're going to be blasting Abhorrence. Totally vulgar. This live album, to me, is not a live album because there's pretty much zero crowd noise. And it pretty much, to me, just sounds like hearing Abhorrence fucking rehearse which sounds a million times better than their 1990 live performance. And without, you know, breaking the bank, I get to get Caught in the Vortex, one of my favorite death metal songs ever, to come out of Finland. And yeah, this is just a collection of some of the best Abhorrent songs before their official reunion and their new EP. Just awesome, awesome stuff here. Still vulgar, still brutal. Fuck yeah. And it doesn't sound like a live album at all. Seriously, it just sounds like you're listening to Abhorrence have rehearsal and it's goddamn awesome. Especially if you're a fan of Finnish death metal from the early 90s. Fuck yeah. For a band that never had a full length record, Abhorrence has made their mark on death metal. But, uh, completely vulgar, sold out and stuff. I would love to have the original 7-inch and stuff with Cult in the Vortex. But, to me, this, you know, does the job. And I'm stoked on that. But, today we're going to travel to Portland, Oregon. And talk about Parasitic Records. Witch Vomit. A scream from the tomb below. Oh man. Now, Witch Vomit was formed in 2012 in Portland, Oregon, with some members from Dagger Lust, Torture Rack, Piss Blood, and fucking Miserable, Brain Rot, and guess who else? Fucking Apraxic. Oh yeah, that band that I always play on live streams. So stoked when I read that. I had no idea, but it makes a lot more sense now on why this is one of the best demos of 2018. A Praxic Gun Eye Implant demo, but that's a tale for another video. And yeah, members of Torture Rack, which you'll be able to hear most definitely as soon as you throw this bad boy on or just even open the LP, CD, or cassette open, and look at the promo photo. You'll see good old JG hanging out on top of the crypt, and of course he's playing Meat Hooks of Doom. You also have Filth and Tempter, and Filth is doing crushing skulls with amputated limbs, while Tempter handles good old evil spells and screams from below awesome promo photo at the altar of death i kneel consumed by lust and pain twisted visions haunt my mind as i crawl towards the tomb again i love that fucking illustration right there great stuff Everything about this release cosmetically is gorgeous. As I've come to expect from Parasitic Records, I can't wait to do a label review on them in the near future. Here you have a good old witch burning. Super gnarly stuff. And this full length in comparison to say, Poison Blood which is an amazing, amazing mini LP, EP, whatever you want to call it. It's just, this is too goddamn short. It's such a dick tease, but it goes along great as dessert to this bad boy. A Scream from the Tomb Below is just such a good way to get into Witch Vomit and just to, you know, go into Poison Blood. And even if you want to go before this and check out some of their demo material and then work your way up 
I like working my way backwards, working my way forwards. When it's a band I really actually like a lot, like Witch Vomit, I normally start with the demo and then work my way up to, in Witch Vomit's case, Poison Blood. Or sometimes I'll work my way the other direction back down to their demo. But right now, I've just been enjoying the fuck out of this record right here. A Scream from the Tomb Below is just one of those death metal releases that's fun, yet at the same time, it's just fucking killer. Everything about this is awesome. From the buzzsaw guitars to the cavernous vocals, this is a cry heard from the tomb below. It's fucking great. I love every track on here. All eight of them. You get ripped from the crypt. Screams from purgatory. The tomb. Below the dirt. Witch cunt. Primal right of death. Torn from life. And twisted altar of sin. My favorite track on here is honestly ripped from the crypt. I just, I just fucking love it. I love like the kind of real creepy synthesized intro. It's just fucking badass, and I, I just love it. And uh, this is one of the limited versions on white vinyl. It's limited to a hundred copies and uh, three hundred black which equivalents to 400 total LP released in 2015 head split handled the um, cassette version and I forget who did the CD it's like memo memo I Mawar or something it starts with an M I apologize but parasitic as always just do a killer job with the cosmetics and this was actually originally a re released on in 2016, but then 2017, the LP on Parasitic was released. I apologize. Uh, it's hard, I'm losing my voice, but Witch Vomit deliver not only just crushing riffs that are very buzzsaw Swedish oriented, you'll hear a lot of crushing 90s American death metal thrown in here as well, which equivalents into a cauldron of old school death metal fun. And that's all you can really ask for from a release like A Scream from the Tomb Below and from a band like Witch Vomit. Witch Vomit do, see I'm totally losing my voice and it fucking sucks, but Witch Vomit seriously just do old school death metal so goddamn well because they mix you know both old school American death metal and old school Swedish buzzsaw ripping death metal and like I said they throw them into the witch's cauldron and boom out comes a scream from the tomb below and this shit is just punishing punishing death metal with fucking Vocals that straight up sound out of a cavern that is just slowly filling with vomit as these riffs just pulverize you in the fucking dust. It's so goddamn sick and I love it in that aspect, but I also just love the fact that, you know, there's nothing on here that is completely like outside of something you've never heard before, but at the same time, that's what makes this so fun. Even though this might not be familiar to you, as soon as some of the riffing and the guitar tone kicks in, you're gonna be like, fuck yeah, this goddamn rules. Oh my God, I fucking love Witch Vomit. And A Scream From The Tomb Below is just such an amazing full length release and even their new EP, well, their latest EP, Poison Blood, it's just as good as this, except for this, you know, is the full fucking meat and potatoes of what Witch Vomit have to offer. And that's eight tracks of old school fucking filthy, filthy death metal from Portland, Oregon. And just 
alongside some evil spells and just some tough, tough riffing, you just have an amazing, amazing slab of old school death metal reeking of both Sweden and Americanized old school 90s fucking death metal. And that's what a scream from the tomb below is all about. Tough riffs and vomit inducing vocals. That's why I love this stuff and it's just another pure example of why the Pacific Northwest is one of the best scenes in the country. It's bands like Witch Vomit and the other bands that they happen to inhabit that help create this amazing scene where every show is of festival caliber. It's amazing and I just fucking think it's so goddamn sick that I can even still go on Parasitic Records and snag a copy of this. So I highly, highly suggest for the holidays grabbing a copy of Witch Vomit, A Scream from the Tomb Below on vinyl before it's gone and you're like, what the fuck, why didn't I grab that while I had the chance? Ah, it's one of those albums. This is just so fucking good, so on the money, especially if you've heard Poison Blood. This is just more of something that you already love. It's just a little bit older, a little more primitive, and just awesome. Like, I, I love the fucking production on here. And this was recorded and mixed by Evan Mursky at Red Lantern Studio. Red Lantern Studio is one of my favorites. And uh, one of my favorite death metal songs ever is on right now. Caught in a Vortex. But the rotten stench becomes more and more repulsive as you descend down the path. Dissonant cackling echoes through your ears. Blood covers the stone ground. Smoke burns your lungs and clouds your visions. All outside light has died out. Green fog of death lights the way as the coven gathers the mausoleum splits and the great power from below seeps upward. The mass is consumed willfully. A cry is heard from the tomb below. Get into this right here. If you're a fan of old school death metal, Swedish old school death metal, American old school death metal, just fuck yeah, get into this. Witch vomit, a scream from the tomb below on Parasitic Records. You can't go wrong here. Just old school death metal that just completely is punishing and amazing. I fucking love this stuff. And just filled with some fucking awesome evil spells, cavernous vocals, and just face ripping guitar. I love this album. The bass is also just disgustingly heavy, filthy, kind of muddy in the mix, but it's everything it needs to be to make Witch Vomits a scream from the tomb below an A-plus fucking release. I love this record, and I can't wait for another full length to come out of Witch Vomit. And we were blasting Abhorrence, Totally Vulgar, live at Tuska 2013 open air so fucking good to me this is like a best of abhorrence just with um kind of a live production because this was recorded live it just doesn't really sound like it so get caught in the vortex and snag this from finland's svart records awesome finnish death metal but yeah, as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Sorry, I have like no voice. But get into the coven. Get into some witch vomit and enjoy. Thanks for watching, as always. You guys fucking rule. Peace. <laughs>